All right, everybody, Lloyd Hannison here from The Nerd Nest with another first look here on the nerdnest.tv uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm playing this one on Google Stadia using my nice Wasabi controller. Today, we're taking a look at The Dark Side Detective. This is part one. Uh, this game came out right before part two, which is new across all platforms. Dark Side Detective came out a little while ago, but it came out on Stadia just recently. Um, if you're not familiar with Dark Side Detective, it is a, a point and click adventure game. So if you've played Police Quest and King's Quest and Leisure Suit Larry and Monkey Island and all those great games from the past, all the great Sierra games and other things, that's what this game is meant to emulate. So it's a modern take on that. As you can see, I'm using my uh, cursor uh, or I'm moving my cursor with uh, my left analog stick. Um, because it's meant to be an old-school point-and-click adventure game. This one works well with mouse and keyboard, uh, but I'm playing with a controller and recording it here on Google Stadia. So we're going to do a first look. We're going to do 15, 20, 30 minutes. We'll see where the game takes us as we make our way in to the Dark Side Detective on Google Stadia here on nerdnest.tv. So let's hit A to start. Uh, case Files. Um, Malice in Wonderland or Tome Alone. And then there's six other case files that uh, I have not, uh, or I can't access yet because they're classified. Uh, I This is my first time playing this game, so I don't even know uh, if I should choose the first one or second one. I'm choosing the first one. Um, <laughs> you can go into the options. That's pretty cool. Uh, police corruption on or still on. <laughs> this is going nowhere. You should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? So police, the police are always corrupt in this game. Graphics, high def, super high def. Virtual reality, spooky vision. Your machine can't run this. We'll leave it at high def, high def, and um, what's this? Unlock bonus cases. Bonus cases unlocked. Click to continue. What? Oh, I unlocked three other cases just by going into the menu. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, well let's uh, let's jump in. Uh, we're at the Twin Lakes Police System. It looks like I'm on on an old like Atari. <laughs> an old Atari computer, uh, which is which is crazy. Um, okay, Mouse in Wonderland. Uh, I'll turn my camera off. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. All right, let's go start investigation. Malice in Wonderland. We'll see if the game allows me to put my camera on, depending on where things are placed. All right, Officer Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there. Detective, you shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Detective McQueen, Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. All right. So, um, as you move your, oh, my network is having issues. That's weird. Uh, usually late at night, it's fine. Uh, I don't understand why that is happening, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll continue on with this first look. Uh, it's maybe because I turned the graphics up to like super extreme high def. Like you can tell, this is like photoreal. This is uh, quite amazing. All right, so I can look at the squad car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. Popo Moto? If I go up to this corner, I can, that, that just opens up the, the menu system. Let's go to re resume uh, and let's go inside. Roy Jones, Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, uh, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes' finest, huh? All right, so uh, I can look at the ashtray. Hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I'm rarely around my kid. Nice guy. I can look at the painting. Nice schooner. Haha, you dummy, it's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner. Did I say schooner? I meant schooner. Ah, oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, a schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Uh, I can talk to Officer Dooley. Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. I can go to the hallway. Living room, closet, uh, study. Let's go back to the study. Locks. I wonder where I'd find a key. Uh, let's go back to the living room. 
or that dude was. Uh, let's talk to Mr. Jones. So how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll turn my camera off so you can see all the options. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly, a tedious age. So I'll leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was was none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bells Booty Boutique. <laughs> Classy stuff. Ah, Bells. Fond memories. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? Okay, so you received an item. Matches. All right. Uh, so I have matches now. You can see that at the top of the screen. Uh, and then I can go upstairs. All right. There's a telephone, flowers. Let's look at the flowers. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. What's this? Oh, the attic. Interesting. All right. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left of it now. I have some paint thinner. Look at the boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Broken shelf. Looks like this gave way recently. Spilling paint thinner all over the wall. A broken lamp. Hmm. Maybe not broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Look at the paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. A box marked. Anne's broken dreams. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's head back down. Uh, I think we're... I think we're good enough in the attic. Let's go into the daughter's bedroom. Let's have a look here. Uh, there's a teddy bear. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid know nothing bear. <laughs> so there's Mrs. Jones' uh, pens. It's no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Received a black light marker. Okay. Uh, I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Okay, so both drawers do the same thing. Take a look at a pony. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Uh, hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. And a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put it in APB. No, Dooley. Don't do that. Dooley noted. All right, Mrs. Jones. Uh, hello, can I ask? My baby. My baby is gone. Can you tell me about Al? She just disappeared. My baby. Is there anything? You have to find her. All right. She's not much help. Find her. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for being um, annoying, we'll say. We'll say, we'll say. All right. Let's leave. Let's check out uh, the telephone. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I, I mean, put it in. We'll go to the master bedroom and poke around here. Um... A painting. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of it all has hit her hard. It seems like a sweet kid. Uh, don't worry. We'll find her, detective. Uh, there's a bed. A water bed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. Uh, Nanny McFiend. N no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I got a strange page. Interesting. So what's a strange page? Let's have a look at it. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Oh, all right. That's odd. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Drawers. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. Let's go to the nanny. All right, tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's that nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. <laughs> all right. How long have you been working for the Jones? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyways, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. All right, say, you're the nanny. A very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. <laughs> she sounds very, uh, very, very suspect, we'll say. Okay. 
Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. I just want to go to goodbye. All right, I'll get back to work and nothing else. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, you can see that little uh, um, disc, floppy disk icon popped up that it was saving, uh, which is great. All right, so uh, closet. Let's check the closet out. A box of junk. Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, uh, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we got ourselves a good night. A good night is finding this kid. All right, we got a black night bulb. All right, so we'll go back to the attic and put that in there, I'm sure. Grandfather the clock. Reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Okay, what's this? That's nothing. You can see that moving the cursor is so slow with a, with a mouse and, or without a mouse and keyboard. Uh, one of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You uh, passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. <laughs> All right, study. Locked. I wonder if. All right, so we're going to use the study key. Uh, click and hold and drag it to the door. And hey, presto, we're in. All right, cool. Uh, there's a painting of Roy Jones Esquire. Oh, so he's a lawyer. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. A lantern, an old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. A dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. A bookshelf, a nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at uh, in some time for shame. Magazine stack. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. <laughs> jugs Weekly. <laughs> that might be the uh, the screenshot for uh, the thumbnail, because that's pretty pretty funny. Jugs Weekly, another lovely pair. So this is like Leisure Suit Larry with less crude humor. It's impo implied crude humor, which is good. Uh, Officer Dooley, hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in the entire house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. All right, so we've gotten all the stuff from the study. Let's go. Uh, we got to go back upstairs. So we go to the living room. We go upstairs. We go to the attic. I'm going to put the black light in the lamp. Hope it doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Somebody's attic shame? Okay. Oh, here we go. Officer Dooley. What the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. It's a dark side doorway. Wonder if I can use a strange page on it. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Oh. Okay, I did. Okay, so all the symbols are right. Uh, we need to put um, uh, this one. Oh, and I'm drawing it with the black light pen. That's cool. Okay. Um, which one? This one goes in the bottom. And then we need uh, this one up here. I love how the music changed. This is great. It reminds me of, like, Stranger Things. Uh, that should be it. Detective McQueen. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything, really. All right, let's go to the dark side doorway. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no lights. Okay, let's uh, let's hold the lantern. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can put paint thinner in the lantern. No, that wouldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take it. Oh wait, I have matches. Maybe I can light the lantern with the matches. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. All right, so now I got a lit lantern. Okay. It's been a while since I've played these point-and-click adventure games, so you know it's uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. All right. Okay, well, I... I... I, I have... I have a lit lantern. Oh, stop that. Maybe I'll just put... Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. All right, so now I'm in the portal. 
Uh, a box marked Baby's First Cult Robes? <laughs> what? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, there's some paint cans. Old milk circa 1880? Why would you store that? Okay. Uh, what's this? Pile of junk? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Okay. okay. Uh, pile of junk. Okay. So that's the same thing. All right. So there's Alice. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yup. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's, uh, crash bang. Danny McFiend. Not so fast, detective. Oh, she has a gun. Where's Dooley? That idiot knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom? It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought she'd have given up by now. All right, what kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPB PD? Sadly, that's fair. Okay, so what is this? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Uh, even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Uh, once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll have to get you to drag him up here, or in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here, and no funny stuff. Okay, so they did knock it out. Um, here, what if I put paint thinner on the doorway? There we go. That worked. That worked. I figured it out. All right, problem solvent. <laughs> That's amazing. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But if that, but that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things. Yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Duly, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. And kidnap their kid. And steal all their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, well, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. All right, case, co case closed. First mission down, first case closed uh, of Dark Side Detective. That is really cool. This this is harkens back to, um, I can remember loading games on floppies on my 486 and playing uh playing police um what is it uh, police quest and king's quest and and all those amazing uh first person or sorry, first person a point and click adventure games uh i can even remember making my own there were some tools that allowed you to make your own uh and and make your own rudimentary graphics and stuff like that uh what what a bygone era for sure um when you're when you're playing point and click adventure games especially when you're doing it with a with a uh, a joystick because man does that ever move slow i'm gonna have to take on the rest of the missions all with a keyboard and mouse so anyway that's gonna about do it for me lloyd hannison from the nerd nest with this first look of the dark side detective here on google stadia i love this game i really really love this game i love the humor i love the art style i love the fact that it's retro i love everything about it um part one and two are available on stadia right now uh so i'm going to finish part one and then i'll have to snag part two because uh this is just too too much fun so um yeah i think that's it for uh for this first look so thanks for joining me uh lloyd hannison from the nerd nest you can follow us at nerdnest.tv that takes you over to our youtube channel where you can check out all the videos that we do on stadia xbox playstation uh, uh geforce now uh luna in the future uh we cover all gaming nintendo of course um we have a couple nintendo podcasts that are linked to this channel uh my show nintendo pulse has been going on since 2006 
Uh, so it's been running, it's the longest running Nintendo show. Uh, you can check out Nintendo Pulse if you're into Nintendo stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I've, I've yammered long enough. Uh, so this is gonna do it for this video. Thanks for joining me and we'll talk to you here on Nerd Nest TV for the next one.